Hey, what's up, guys? This is Guy here with Cable Training. Welcome to this live. It's Sunday, January 7th, 2024. Happy New Year 2024 to all of you guys. Thank you so much for being online with me. I hope everything is going well on YouTube. I am seeing my YouTube screen right now. It seems to be okay. And I can also look at Facebook. I'm online on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining. Thank, thank you, Perstance Bimba Mihuidi. So this is me online, online again, live on Facebook and YouTube in English. I just did a live in French like an hour ago. So I do French and then English. So thank you for joining me here. If you like what I do, please share your video. If you are on YouTube, share it on your feed. If you are on, um, on Facebook, share it as well. And don't forget to like it just to encourage me to keep doing more of this. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. So today we're going to talk about the new year. We're going to talk about, oh, Hervé is there. Hervé, my brother, is online. Thank you so much for watching. I am really glad uh, that you are joining me here. So I have Sumia, Andy, and everybody on there. I really appreciate you. Thank you. So we are going to talk about 2023 uh, for me, for myself. And I'm going to talk about 2024 and what we're going to do in 2024. When I say we, it's me and you because... This channel was created to learn together, to grow together. So there are things that I'm going to learn this new year and we'll share all of that with you either here on YouTube by doing tutorials or sharing my project or I can create new uh, courses on kbtrans.com, which is my website where I share with you my knowledge in a structured manner. Right now I have the CCNA 200-301, which is one of my, um, like my, my only and best course that I'm doing right now, the CCNA training. So I go from zero to engineer. You don't have to know much to start. If you can send an email or do anything on a computer, you're already good enough. You go there, you learn, and you get certified, and you can start your career. That's how I started, and that's how you can do it as well. So thank you so much. So we're going to talk about that. And then I'm going to show you my new lab that I just built. It took me a couple of days because I've been all over the place, but this is the actual lab. Let me show it to you. It's right here. Uh, let me remove the full screen. Unfortunately, I don't have my, my pen here, so I can't really write on the screen. But this is what the lab looks like. I am going to talk about it a little bit. It's going to help me to learn some of the new technologies or some of the uh, things like uh, MSD1, uh, ZTNA, SASE, all kind of stuff. But it's mostly there in ESXi. I'm going to talk about it and uh, uh, tell you about what's good about it and i'm going to talk about some new tools like the one emulator i never heard about it before but now i'm using it it's awesome i can you know share the links and see how my firewall reacts and all kind of stuff so that's what we're going to talk about today guys thank you so much for joining me let me take a look at the chat again and say hi and happy new year and everything hi adama traore hi adelaide Guy. so let's start with the new year new year for me um it doesn't mean much yeah, that's the reality. I have actually a video that I've um, I published. I think it was on my personal channel. Let me show it to you. Uh, I think I published it four years ago exactly. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, this is this is the video. It's on my personal channel. Back then when I was uh, creating all kind of videos. I have a bunch of videos on my channel. But this is like five tips to better manage your time. I was just talking about the new year and look at this this was 2020 <laughs> so it's been it's been four years now the time just goes so fast you never know um it goes so fast so that's why you don't need to waste time you need to be eager to learn eager to change your life to become happier if you're not i mean if you're not happy just find some happiness in your life trying to do your best to be at your um at your max when it comes to happiness it might be with family, with friends, with career, everything you want to be um, involved in, do your best to do it. And what I'm saying here is that you can make those decisions anytime throughout the year. You don't have to wait for January 21st. Oh, sorry, January uh, 1st to do that. You can make good decisions anytime in your life. As soon as you wake up and you realize what's wrong with you, or what's wrong with your life or what you can do better, work on it. It might be in the middle of June. It might be sometime in September or whatever. You can do it anytime. But I know that as a society, we've set January 1st as like the reference, the, the reference when it comes to time, the dimension of time, so we know exactly where we stand. But at the universe, um, at the universe scale, New Year doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a day like any other day. Because if you look at it, we are on a rock. We are on this planet and we're just going through the space, the empty space at a very high speed. 
um, the, the, the earth itself is spinning on itself at the speed of, of like uh, of 1600 kilometer every hour. Can you, can you imagine that? 1600 kilometer every hour spinning on itself. That's, that's the kind of laws we are, me and you experiencing because we are on the same planet. I don't know if you have other people on other planets. That's another problem. But we are there. And then the planet itself, it's spinning or evolving around the sun at the speed of 100,000 kilometers every hour. That's a lot. That's fast. Can you imagine that? And then the whole solar system is going on spinning um, um, around the center of the galaxy, the Milky Way, at the speed of about 850,000 kilometers every hour. That's a lot that's happening in an hour. And then, of course, the whole Milky Way move with the universe at around 2.3 uh, million kilometers an hour. That's just to tell you how insignificant a day can be, a year can be, because you know that a year on Earth, for example, uh, like a year on a planet like Saturn is equal to um, 29 years on, on Earth. So it doesn't mean much. That's why your happiness doesn't need to depend on the first year of the year or, or the first year, the first day of the year, or just the year itself. Because I've seen people uh, saying a lot of things about the, the the mystery about the new year and everything. What I do is just wish you to make this year the best, which means that you make good decisions and you try to carry or bring your boat to the the the. The, the best uh, situation possible in your life. That's what I can wish you. A lot of uh, health and wealth. You work on your health by eating well, by eating healthy. You work on your wealth by trying to you know, create it around you, by learning more, by going for new ventures and things like that. I am wishing you all the best. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you for helping me growing this channel because we went from zero pretty much three years ago and now we are about i have about forty-five thousand subscribers on this channel i'm very grateful and thank you so much for that and i really appreciate you so that's all for this first year i mean the the first uh days or the first week or the first live of 2023 or 2024 instead so now i'm going to tell you what we're going to do me personally i'm saying that i think 2023 has been a uh, good for me um most of my projects um are going well um, talking about YouTube channel or whatever I do on the side or my career itself. I started a new job at Fortinet, which I really like. And, you know, Fortinet with me didn't start in 2023. I actually started creating videos on Fortinet way before, like 2020. I started um, talking about Fortinet on KB trainings. And today I work for Fortinet and it's it's like a dream uh, come through for me. And uh, it's something that I really like. It was a success on in 2023. And of course, um, a lot of views on the channel, a lot of advancement on my knowledge, on the certificates that I have and uh, on the course that I'm creating as well. So it's been a great year. So now I'm looking forward to 2024, trying to make it uh, the best um, uh, the best year for me so far because it should be growing. It should be getting better, not worse. That's, that's the goal in life. So together on this channel, we're going to explore many topics in 2024. First of all, I will be sharing with you most of what I'm learning um, when it comes to Fortinet, for example, as you can see, or as you know, I have a lot of devices in my lab. I have a whole rack full of devices behind me here. And all of the things, all of the labs I'll be doing will be shared with you. And you will just grow with me. And I'm going to learn some other um, new or trendy technologies, just like I said, SD1, SASE, ZTNA, all kind of uh, good stuff. And all of that will be shared with you. That's uh, that's the good thing. As long as I learn, I know, I grow. You learn, you know, and you grow as well because I created this platform just for that. And also I can create courses on those, but uh, depends on the time and uh, how much I have in my hand to handle. And we are going to do a lot of Cisco as well. As you know, Cisco is the reference. I started my career just with the Cisco, the CCNA. That's my first certificate that really boosted me into telecom. And until today, I have that certificate or the the Cisco exam uh, up to date, and I do it. I went to the CCNP as well, which I am trying to. I think it's current right now, but I will take the exam again sometime during the year, just just for the course, because a lot of people are asking me for the Encore course, which I am planning to create this year, and um, I will have some NAC courses as well, NAC three. I mean, not three, NAC four, NAC five on any of the the big uh, topical devices like a 40 manager we're going to do that together 
and also um, besides Cisco, Palo Alto as well. I'm going to uh, learn a little more about Palo Alto. I've been, at some point in the past, I was studying to get certified in Palo Alto, I think. The certification is called the uh, PNCA or something. I started for it, but I didn't uh, bring it to completion. I didn't take the exam. But as you might have seen on Facebook or Instagram, if you don't follow me, make sure you follow me on the so on social medias, Facebook or Instagram, because I share a lot of behind the scenes there that you don't see on YouTube. Like, for example, I shared with you how I was unboxing this uh, this device here. Actually, I have a second one if, you, if you're not aware. So this is a second Palo Alto 220 that I bought on eBay. I think it was about, I don't know, 50 or 90 bucks on eBay. And then there is a there is a first one that I bought a little earlier last year and uh, I'm going to use them in my lab. Actually, it's going to be somewhere down here. I will put the Palo Alto and then I have some checkpoint firewalls back there. I have the Quantum Spark 1590 and I also have the Quantum Spark 1600. Those will also be on this rack. This is where I have spent most of my time trying to learn a lot of things so go learn more guys and uh subscribe to the channel and just be there to get all those all those uh, uh all the knowledge that i'm getting as well and also i'm going into sales my responsibility in the new job that i started um uh, late last year i've been like uh, two months in now is to also be good at sales because my background has been mostly technical I've been in um, knock environment, SOC, uh, managed service providers, and all kind of very technical stuff. But now I'm still technical, of course, but I'm also going more into sales, into relationships, into uh, presentations, customers, and things like that. So that's a skill that I have to learn formally, even though informally I've been good in sales. I've had my businesses on the side, you know, web hosting, web design, uh, consulting and a bunch of stuff and the course that I'm selling online and you here on YouTube, but I want to be formally into corporate sales. That's why I've been recommended a lot of books and I'm actually, let me remove this thing here, not right in front of me. So I'm actually uh, reading some books right now. This is one of the books that I'm reading. Uh, this is Start With No. It's a book that was recommended to me uh, for sales skill. Just how to go from a no to convincing somebody. Yeah. Like, Turn the no into yes. That's that's what the kind of things you learn. And there's this one that is never split the difference. Some of you have uh, have seen this before. It's a good book. It says here negotiating as if your life depended on it. So how to negotiate? How to negotiate your salary, the price, the sales, whatever. This is a good book. It was uh, I think the guy was a former FBI uh, negotiator. And then there is a, another one that I already finished. This is the challenge of sell. It's also another sales book. Just to tell you that years go on and your knowledge should be coming along as well. You should be going into new territories. You should be learning new things. You should be acquiring new skills. That's how you grow as a person. Otherwise, you will be just uh, turning around and not doing much of, of your life. Thank you so much, Eric, for, for the commentary. Thank you for being there and being live with me. I really appreciate that. And uh, that that's me on sales and many other things. Of course, I didn't put checkpoint in the title because I can only do 100 uh, letters in a title, but I need to learn checkpoint and I need to learn all kind of stuff. So now I'm going to talk about the lab that I presented to you. This is a new lab that I built in ESXi. And of course, I've made a video on this channel showing you how I installed ESXi 8.0 on my desktop that I have back there. It's an old desktop. I mean, not so old because I built it in 2021, I think, with an i7 Intel um, CPU with 96 gigabyte of RAM. That's something I should recommend to anybody. If you want to learn more, if you want to practice a lot, today is the best era ever to live because you don't have to buy all of this. You don't have to have the devices physically. You can have virtual machines on a computer, on your laptop. And today, laptop can go as up as 64 or 128 gigabyte. Like my MacBook I have here, this one has 64 gig, even though it's, a, it's an M1, it's Apple Silicon. I can't do very much. Um, I mean, I can do something, but I like Intel more when it comes to VMs. So I have 64 gig here, which means that I can build virtual machines and I can work anywhere I am with a laptop or I can do a remote connection. Like I was uh, in vacation in Canada uh, for a couple of days uh, where I bought this stuff actually. This was my gift, a gift from my uncle. So I just put it here so he can 
can be proud of me. But um, yeah, I, I spent some good time there. So on my way back to 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 the U.S., I was in a four-hour flight, and I had some good internet connection. I paid like uh, I don't know, it was it twenty bucks, fifteen bucks for it. But it was good enough for me to VPN to my home network, to RDP into my um, Windows desktop that I have here, and then do my labs. So I was still learning, even though I was in a plane. In uh, in flight, that's something that you you do today because we have that flexibility, and you should do that as well if you are not doing it yet. So um, this is the lab itself. It's very, uh, I want to say simple, but it's not that simple. But the design is, is is simple. So we have an HQ right here. I'm sorry, I don't have my pen, so I can write on the screen. But we have an HQ right here with a firewall. This is a 40 gate for the HQ. So the lab is is around Fortinet. So I, I'm trying to learn a lot of Fortinet technology. So it's all Fortinet here. And uh, we have the HQ and we have the data center behind the HQ. This is just me. I just came up with this device. It wasn't pulled from anywhere. And uh, beside that, we also have the ISFW or the internal segmentation firewall. This is how you design an enterprise network these days. Because mostly in the past, it was more about blocking the traffic from outside to come inside your network. But today, as the threat landscape evolves, we know that some threats can also be inside your network. So you need to know how to to check how to control your devices from the inside. That's why we have all the X, uh, XDR stuff, EDR, MDR, all kind of stuff, or NDR. It helps you just protect your network from the inside. So here... We have this firewall here just to segment the network in, uh, internally. And actually, I read something this morning. Um, this is a mistake I made on this topology here. So this is supposed to be, this firewall is supposed to be in transparent mode. Right now, it's in NAT mode. As you can see, we have a network here that is different from the, the internal or the LAN network. So I, I'll work on that later on. But I have this. And really soon, I'm going to be in this Windows uh, computer and show you how I can trace route and go to the outside. So we have that, and then down here, as I said, we have the data center. Inside, we have a 40 manager and a 40 analyzer. It's also integrated to the whole design. And uh, how do I go back to this thing? Let's see. Okay, I should probably just do this. Um, and then out here, we do have the one design and this is something i want to share with you the one emulator if you haven't played with the one emulator it's great it's my first time to use it and i really like it i'm going to show you what i can do the kind of stuff i can do inside one emulator and also i have an MP mpls cloud that i built which is like the old way to uh, to do side to side with mpls so you have to have dedicated lines which can be very expensive that's why today with sd1 you really don't need all of that. You can build just using broadband or regular internet. You can build side-to-side uh, -side connections between your different um, branches connected to the HQ. So the design I have now is that all the internet traffic goes out through this internet uh, WAN emulator here. And I have WAN1 one, one and WAN2 on all the different sites, the branches, as well as the, the HQ. And talking about one emulator, let me show you something. I can I can go into this device here. This is actually the the WAN one computer that we have here. So I can log into it. As you can see right now, I am pinging Google, and the latency is 153 milliseconds. This is where we stand right now. Let me cut this and restart it again. So I have uh, 152 milliseconds. So what I like to do with the WAN emulator is that I can come and change the, pr the properties of these connections, these two WAN1 and WAN2. OK, I was showing another screen. So I want to show this. So I can come and change the properties of these two here. I can increase or decrease latency, jitter, and the bandwidth itself uh, thanks to the WAN emulator. And that should be somewhere here on my screen. This is the, the one emulator itself. Let's say, for example, I put 150 on that link. I can reduce it to 50, for example, 50 millisecond delay time. And once I apply that and I go back to the device, you can see now that the latency is 52 millisecond instead of 152. So now we are at 52. So the one emulator is a good tool that you can use to test all kind of stuff. Like if I have SD1 configured on the HQ fire, uh, firewall or 40 gate, 
I can see how HD1 can switch the traffic or the different application traffic uh, between the two links depending on the quality of the link. And uh, that's the kind of thing I spend my time doing in the lab. And I also encourage you to do the same because that's how you learn, that's how you grow, and that's how you can accomplish more. Let us uh, let me take a look at the chat. Thank you so much, Fliss Florian, for being online with us today. And uh, I appreciate everybody on Facebook as well. Ngoma Monastanis, thank you. Vous écrit sur Messenger, je n'ai pas pas de réponse. I'm going to respond to you, Prestance. Je vais vous répondre sur Messenger. Mais sinon, merci beaucoup. Ça, c'est l'essentiel que j'avais euh, pour euh, ce live, pour cette année. Je vous... Oh my God, I just turned into French because I read some French comment over there. Sorry about that, guys. I need to cut it off after. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all I had for today. For my live, I showed you uh, the new design, the new lab that I have. And of course... I still have this lab in the back. I mean, the, this lab, the physical lab in the back. We'll be spending some time on it as well, a lot of time to do some more practice and uh, just be better at what I currently do. And if you have any questions, you can just leave it in a comment. I'll be able to respond to you. But that's mainly my 2023, how it was, and 2024, how it's been going. So I've been very motivated since the beginning of the year, spending a lot of, li a lot of time in the lab. The lab that I just showed you, I spent about, I don't know, two or three days because I was, I've been doing other things as well. But two or three days to get it to work properly and get everything configured normally, and all of that will be explained. So I'll be making videos and tutorials on all those technologies. All right, guys, I think that's all for today. We're going to keep it short, and uh, I am going to wish you, again, all the best for this new year. Make it the best, because you have the power to make it the best. Of course, you don't control 100% of whatever is happening to you in your life, but you have 80% where you can um, control, make better decisions, meet new people, get new skills, try to uh, to always be the best version of yourself every single day. You, you don't have to wait for January 1st. But that's the work you should do every single day just to uh, be where you deserve to be, depending on the, the quality of work you put into yourself. Thank you so much. Maybe I'm too late for that live. Um, thank for the information you shared. I'm new in Fortinet and your video helped a lot. Yes, I, uh, oh, I actually didn't show you my ESXi. I can show you the ESXi environment right here. I was actually showing to the people in the French live because I have way more questions in French. Like my French people are very active. So I uh, I did literally an hour and it was still not enough because I was receiving a lot of questions. But in English, it's kind of, uh, it's fine because I know there is a lot of content already in English um, doing whatever I currently do. So this is uh, this is a Palo Alto VM that I found online, which is, is a pain because I was having a hard time finding a VM for Palo Alto. Fortinet makes it, kind of easy you just need to have an account and you go on their website you can download the vm and use it even if you don't have a license which you should if you are working for a, um, a fortinet client or a fortinet partner you should be able to request like a test uh, or evaluation license for you to use but you can also use without a license but uh, for Palo Alto, it was kind of tough to get the VM downloaded. I had to create an account and then submit a request. And then the request, I don't know if it's been approved or not. I haven't checked my email yet. But they were supposed to approve the request before me having access to the, to the VM. But I was able to go through the internet and find and do some research. I found this uh, version 9.0 of PanOS that I have installed here. But in general, this is my lab VM. I have 32 uh, VMs right here if i can sort by cpu usage you can see which ones are up this fortigate here is taking a lot of cpu i've i went in to see what's going on because the other ones as you can see they stay below one gigahertz but this one is at seven bot 7.3 i need to investigate to see what's what's going on and i also have secure crt this is where i connect to all the devices and they already organized and i have direct access to them and um so again, I have this, the WAN emulator that I told you about is right here. And you can download it online. Just just search for download WAN emulator. This is the name. Let me show you. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, this is WAN emulator. You can download it. And it's a, it's a very useful tool. And um, I have some, I have the 40 manager right here. I have the 40 analyzer. I have the Windows computer that I was logged in. I have an Ubuntu computer. I have a lot of Windows actually. I can place them anywhere behind a firewall or behind a, a certain network. And uh, I also have a lot of 
support groups that I created to simulate all those different networks. So they are right here. If you want me to go deep into how I created the design and how it works on ESXi, I can, I'll be glad to do that for you because it's something that you should be able to replicate and work on to, uh, to acquire more skills and do a bunch of things. Another question about working remotely like network and network security administrator. What is the question? I plan to be certified in CCNA and NAC4. Do I have a chance in Europe and other countries to get a job? Um, I don't know where you're located, but I don't. I mean, it's uh, it depends on on what you put out there. I've seen people. I have a friend who was back in the Congo. He he got hired in uh, by a company in Canada. Right now, he's living in Canada since like April. So there is a there is a lot out there. There is need for people for cybersecurity or for uh, IT or security network professionals. So if you want to become good, just put the work into all those certifications that you're doing right now. The NAC is good. The CCNA is good. Combine all of that and go even further than that. Go to the CCNP, go to the NAC 5, 6, 7 or the, the Fortinet certified uh, professional or uh, SS or I think it's service specialist. Yeah. That's good. Do your best at your level. And if you want to apply for other companies in Europe, yeah, try it. I've seen people being hired in the U.S. from Europe. I know a friend who came from France and he's working now in the U.S. for a tech company as well. So there's a lot of need. Just work on the skills and be the best you can be. And uh, yeah, try it out and uh, see how it works. I can't guarantee anything, but all I know is that if you're good, you're going to be useful to somebody somewhere and it can be, uh, it can be a big deal. Um, what else? What other questions do I have? Also, the impact of the CCNA. The impact is huge. Like the CCNA is the search that helped me to start my career, and uh, I uh, I owe it to the CCNA because it's a reference in the workforce right now. If you have the CCNA, it assumed that you can also do many other vendors, which is true because the CCNA is very, uh, very deep um, in the process of the learning process itself and the kind of topics that are covered. It's a good exam. And then when you get to the security side, cyber security, you get to Fortinet, which is the leader when it comes to cyber security for, for enterprise and businesses. The NSC4 is a good exam to have or to know. I discovered Fortinet when I was working for a managed service provider because a lot of clients or a lot of locations or a lot of big corporate use Fortinet. So it's a good way to get into that, into cybersecurity. And then you can extend to go to the others um, like Palo Alto and, and Checkpoint, all the other ones. The more you know, the better you are and uh, the easier your work or your job is going to be. Um, what else do I have to show you here? I think that's it. If there's no more questions, we are good for this Sunday. For this new year, if you noticed, at the end of last year, I went live pretty much every week uh, around November and December. So for this year, I'll do my best to go also go live every Sunday and I can even go live during the week just to bring you in my lab, of course, as always, and share with you all kind of stuff I do personally because that's how I grow, and I want you to grow together with me. And if you like that, don't forget to like the video on YouTube, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We've been online for about 30 minutes. I think that should be enough. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye.